Hello everyone, welcome to a get ready with me from my stash. It is the holiday season and VIB sale with Sephora, holiday gift sets dropping at Ulta, everybody's releasing their holiday collections, and the temptation to just go and buy everything is overwhelming. So I thought I would start out before I go filling my cart with everything under the sun by forcing myself to sort of use things that I already have in my kit and go from there. So I'm going to start out with concealers that I've been using. So this is the NARS color corrector, the radiant creamy color corrector that I reviewed a long time ago. And I never reviewed this one for you guys, but this is the Kosas, I think is how you pronounce it, concealer. I've been using it for several weeks and I do really like it. I instead of layering the two as i did in the one video layering the color corrector underneath the concealer i kind of just dot a bit of both under the eye and i blend it out with a finger or a sponge my brain doesn't really know what to do with the holiday season this year so even my outfit right so last weekend i actually stayed in a cabin with some girlfriends and when we woke up on saturday morning it was 27 degrees outside and so I got home figuring okay it's like properly winter now somehow ready for sweaters and now today it's supposed to be a high of 70 so I've got you know long pants but then a tank top and a scarf and not really sure what's going on. One thing I'm also considering doing for you guys this holiday season is a beauty vlogmas. So let me know if that's something that would be interesting to you. It's not really like proper vlogging. It's, it would just basically be like, you know, uh, 24, 25 days of get ready with me videos. Um, also kind of in the vein of going through makeup that I already have and trying to come up with a different look every day. This is the Typology Serum, um, Tinted Serum, that I haven't really used that much since I did the review video of it, but I did remember liking it and I do have Fresh Sunless Tanner on and this is um, a bit on the darker side, so just gonna go in with that today. I do remember I prefer to apply it with a sponge because it is so fluidy, but yeah. Speaking of the Vlogmas thing, um, every year for the past three, I have been sharing with you guys on Instagram the Look Fantastic Beauty Advent Calendar, and this year I forgot to pre-order it. So I am switching it up, because they were sold out by the time I remembered that it was the holiday season and I needed to get my hands on one. And so this year I'm going to be doing one... Um, the one that Macy's puts out, which I checked the brands that are included and it actually looks pretty good. So I think it's going to be okay. I was just really devastated because this will be the first year that I haven't gotten to use Look Fantastics. So this is a brand whose holiday collection I already ordered. I didn't even wait. This is the Jouer Cosmetics. This is from one of their collections over the summer, but it's just their, their stick blush. And I apply this one in different ways. Sometimes I just go right in on the cheek. Other times I might take some on a finger and just pat it on that way. Other times I'll just go in with like a dense blush or blush brush that can handle a creamy consistency like this and spread it out that way. Doesn't really matter. I just like the way that these stick blushes give me a really natural flush to the face. This was the first collection I'd ever purchased from Jouer, and I was so impressed with it. I loved the eyeshadows. I loved everything. I loved the lipstick. So when I saw the holiday collection drop, like I said, I didn't even wait. My favorite setting powder is still my Chiate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This was the last one of these that I had purchased. I don't know if they make this formula anymore, though, so I'll have to check that for you guys. But I still like to use this in my T-zone where I am oiliest and underneath my eyes. And then I have a different setting powder that I have been using on the rest of my face. So I use that one in my T-zone because I have oily skin, but I have been using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, um, the light catching powder on my cheeks because it really is quite light catching. And if I use it on my forehead and in my oily zones, I just look shiny, but look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so far so good, looking all right. I might amp up that blush with a little bit of powder blush. So for my face today, I thought I would pop on this uh, Foroscope Earth Angel from Benefit. I had done a fuller review of this for you guys a while ago, but I haven't used it in a while, so let's pop this on. I did get my Christmas tree up. I'm very excited about that actually, because last year, and I shared this on Instagram yesterday, last year um, the new kittens 
ruined my Christmas tree pretty much from day one because they had no trouble at all climbing it with the style of Christmas tree that it was, the way that it was like assembled. So for this year I had to get a bit smarter and uh, sort of figure out an alternative that would keep them from being able to climb the tree and I'm very excited to say that so far so good. I've had the tree up, just the tree, no lights or anything else on it for about two days and um, so far they have not been able to get up the tree. So I'm just going in right now with a light contour. I love this contour because I don't like the really dramatic orangey contours. It's just very gentle. Like you can see just a little bit of extra shaping on this side of my face. This is the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette and mine is in the shade Light Gold. So I'm using the matte contour powder here just to give my cheeks a little bit of extra shape today. I've also just feel like I've got so much stuff to get through before Thanksgiving in two weeks that it's like Thanksgiving can't possibly be in two weeks because how am I supposed to get everything done by then? For filling in my eyebrows, I have ventured out several times, but I always come back to this Winky Lux Unibrow, Universal Brow Pencil, and I don't actually know if there's a color listed on here. It might just be Universal is the color. But I come back to this every time. It's just easy and quick, and I like the sort of ashy blonde tone that I get from this, as opposed to something that looks too chocolatey, too red, or anything else. So that is the Winky Lux Universal Brow Pen. And then for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this palette today. This is the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice Palette. So mostly neutrals, a good blend of shimmers and mattes with a sort of rose gold bent to them. So I'm just gonna get to working with this today. Usually I'll go in with like a primer, but today I'm not really feeling anything too, too fancy. I've got lots to do today between my day job and um, holiday stuff. I've wanted to get a blog post up this week. Um, lots of thoughts for blogging lately in the way of just, I don't know, I, I had a blog title in mind about getting out from under the influence where influence is related to influencers and influencer culture altogether. And um, I kind of like that. I kind of just feel like it's a discussion, a point of discussion that we could all be having right now. For some reason lately, influencer culture has just been feeling heavier than usual to me. Um, I don't know if it's because it's the holidays again. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it is, but I just have been feeling a little bit lost in it. There's a lot of influencer influencers I feel at the moment who are pivoting and pivoting is totally fine. It's um, just a little bit of a shock to the system and it kind of has me just wanting to take this massive step back and reevaluate who, who do I follow, whose message still resonates with me. Um, you know, like all of them are entitled to bring their lifestyle, their personal growth, their personal changes into their channels and do whatever they like with it. I think that's wonderful. But when you are somebody who has been a loyal follower of somebody for a long time and then all of a sudden it's like their whole messaging seems to change you feel that pressure to pivot with them i think that's what i'm getting to you feel that pressure to keep up with them to also change what you have going on in your life because you still like and admire what you see them doing in their life and the second i started noticing that in myself i said okay we got to take a step back here all of that really just to say that I was considering putting up a blog post about that topic because I feel like I can't be the only one who's noticed it. Okay, so about halfway through, I'm sort of seeing why I stopped using this palette. I feel like I'm not really getting much of a color payoff, and honestly, it looks like I've just been pushing one color around my eyelids. This isn't really doing anything. I'm thinking maybe it's because these are expired. Um, either that or they just weren't very good shadows to begin with. So let me see what I have in my bag of trip tricks that I can finish this look off with. Okay, this feels like a good pivot. Since I was talking about that collection from Jouer Cosmetics, this was their French Riviera collection, and these are the shadows from that. Um, so I think I'm just going to sort of start mixing in these with a little bit of the bronze and see where I get with that. I don't know if I ever finished talking about what else I had on my to-do list for the day today. Um, but 
I mentioned the Christmas tree that I had uh, made that work and outsmarted the kittens, but um, I think today now that I've sort of accepted that they definitely can't climb it, that what I would really like to do is get the lights on it um, and start getting that decorated. And since it's a different tree this year, I will be very curious to see if um, I have enough ornaments from the tree that I usually use to fill it out. And if not, I'll have to go and uh, buy some new ones. Hopefully I can find enough to match. Okay, so we went in with just a little bit of eyeliner on the outer third there. I have been loyal to the Jones Road Beauty Best Pencil. The Best Pencil? The Best Pencil. Since I bought it January, February, really early this year, the Art Eyeliner is absolutely amazing. And then mascara, I went in with the Giorgio Armani Super Soft Effect Eyes to Kill mascara that I talked about in my October favorites. Um, both of these are absolutely fantastic. So I have... Um, moistened my lips with some of my absolute favorite. This is the Sun Bomb SPF chapstick. I live by that. I actually buy it in a three pack and I keep one in my purse, one at my desk, and one up here. And um, I'm sorting my lip liner collection as part of this whole try new makeup from my own kit every day. So this is an oldie but a goodie. This is a NYX lip liner crayon in the shade Natural. And I'm gonna give this a try with my Tom Ford Blush Nude Lipstick. I have to be really careful with lip liners. I think I shared this with you guys once before because some of them will irritate my lips. I get like an itchy, tingling sensation and it's been inconsistent, so it's really hard for me to discern uh, which ones do it, which ones don't. But this one I'd used quite a bit of um, the last time I had it out for use regularly. So here's hoping. I think that looks pretty nice. Might actually be a touch dark for this shade, but... Oh, no, I think that works all right, actually. I love this color. It's so good. And that's going to be it for today's Get Ready With Me video using stuff that I already own. Everything that I use today I will pop a link for down below if it looks good to you and you are interested in trying it out. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So thanks for watching. I hope you're off to a good holiday season. If you need some tips for a stress-free holiday, a way to attack the season, keeping your stress lowered, trying to stay a little bit more zen, check out the last video that I did for you guys. I've got five really actionable, sensible ways to help you do that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.